Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. This is a fucking unboxing video. Okay. God damn it. Let's get fucking God naked. God damn it. This was supposed to be when wrapped during the Christmas video. This is from Liam and Derek. And even though Derek is is an asshole Detroit Lions fan. Oh yeah, Derek. He's still one of my favorite people. He's also a great kisser. Shit. Next up, we got a creepy crate. I love these things, dude. These, these things are, so are creepy. I don't like to open them. They're so creepy. Seriously, Sean, Derek, thank you guys yeah, so you much. Yeah, you guys are awesome. awesome. Got the Chanel Habs McGramster. McGramster. Chanel. Who's that? What the fuck is that? Okay, this is the explanation of everything in the box. Creepy Crate, by the way, we'll put their link down below. They send us these every once in a while. It's so fucking cool that they do. This is a monthly subscription box on the cheap, and they got some dope ass shit in here. Let's see what's in this one. Okay. Oh. It's Squeeze the zombie toy. Next time you're thinking about reenacting a good old fashioned slasher scene to relieve some stress, grab this ghoulish guy instead when his head starts to bulge, husband's bulge, you'll remember there are less terrifying ways to feel better. It's a little zombie toy. I feel squishy. like so much, it smells like weird chicken. You made a butt out of it, that's weird, don't do uh, that. Yeah, it's a little zombie squisher. Well, I take, I take my pet and I love my pet, I love my pet, I squish the shit up! That's how, that's how you feel. If you, if you go back to the gym in January, yeah, I like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good though. Yeah, I know. Oh, God damn it. Take it, take it out of the fucking damn fucking gym. Get it! Fuck! Anyway. Oh! Oh, we bro oh dude, we broke it. That's, no. A little bit. Ooh, Just a little bit. Look at these. Okay. Look at these. Can't be that rough. Skelp. I actually bought a pair of these. Fuck yes, dude. We could finally be on Storage Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that one dude wears that. Yep. I'm going to say I'm going to do this rest of this if I can unbox it. You want one? Yeah, I want one. Take one. Let's do one. Skull gloves, man. I actually bought a pair of these as driving gloves in the winter, and then everybody looked at me like I was part of the Black Parade. <laughs> when I was a what? young boy. I've been watching live. Father. Why do the cops wear this shit? It, like, you're not already intimidating with your fucking Glock by your side that you pull on. Like, you don't need this shit. Like, smell it. Mm. It smells weird. Hey, open that st hey, hey, what the hell is this for? What's your, uh, what's your profanity? What's your pleasure? Oh, we got more shot glasses. Look at this bubbles. Watch, watch your finger. Oh, I got gloves on this time. But fuck! Hey, you know what? In real life, this is what fucking Seagal, uh, Seagal's hand would look like after hard, hard to kill. After you punch that fucking <laughs> Dude, look at this. Forever and ever. No. Come play with us, Danny. Fuck her. I don't, I'm not playing with them. Fuck! They need to go play the seesaw by themselves, those whores. Zoom in on it, you fuck! They're dead! Move your stupid head! Ow! <laughs> is it not zooming? It's the Shining Twins. Yeah, I got it. Okay. That's dope as fuck. Dude. We got like some cool ass shot glasses. But wait. Oh. Is Do they, are they like actually oh. making, oh, oh. They're making these boxes just for us because, like, hey, these drunks would like this. <laughs> Come play with us. I dropped the box. By the way, Mike, your nose here is gnarly. Dude, I'm sick. <laughs> I've been sneezing a kidding. fucking lot I'm lately, kidding. okay? I do feel like a cop with this. I'm gonna wear them both now. Hey, guys, if you ever get pulled over and the cops pull out the gloves, you're fucking done. You're fucking done. It's gonna be a horrible weekend. This would be the girls that when you when you dated that really hot girl that you've always chased after her over and over again, and she has daughters like this, and they meet you at the fucking top of the stairs the yeah. first night you come over, and you're like, what the fuck? Why don't you read me a fucking story? I'm trying to drink with your mother. Eat your goddamn crooked crest, bitch. Oh, dude, it's the Amityville Ooh. Horror original book story. Jay Anson. Anson. I'm gonna answer some questions. Wait, smell it together. Let me bring it close. Uh, oh, I have to poop now. To, I was gonna say you have to get down. I have to poop now. Ooh. Oh, it's got the dude. Yeah, it's got it's got dude. It's got the it's got the maps of the house down below. Let's figure it out. It's the amiable horror Jay Hansen original story. Well, dude, did you show them? Stop it. Let them see the goddamn schematic of the house. I, I showed it. I showed it a second ago. Well, God damn it. Take your gloves and put them up your butthole with your fucking attitude, and put a shot glass <laughs> in your mouth and swallow it deep. You and that goddamn little. Hey, yours. I would say that was that that schematic looked like Macaulay Culkin wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> he laid out the man. fucking like this is how we're gonna trap people. Dude, dude. dude. All right, and lastly, oh, we always have to eat some. Take a bite. I'm not gonna eat Come that. on. Ooh, God. Look, watch this. I will.
Is that when you found out that you had to pay taxes? Oh, look, a pin. Oh, is oh, that legend? Devil pin. Oh, it looks like great party. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was the Tim Curry from Legend, but it's not. It's just a devil pin. That was Tom Cruise. Oh yeah, no, I fucking understand. moron. <laughs> Move your fucking head. Move your stupid fucking head. We got some crack here. We found this in this guy's front passenger seat. <laughs> that would be a guy. Actually, a guy that sold you crack would be wearing that on his lapel. <laughs> <laughs> You're the devil, fucking music man. Lastly, we have the lineups 2020 Cryptids calendar. I don't know Ooh. what this is. Look at that. Messing with Sasquatch. Hey, that's just you, like, using a bathroom and le leaving a loaf at your friend's house and walking away. <laughs> like, I hope that you guys know that I clogged it up. That's perfect, though. Everybody needs a new calendar to start 2020. That's a... What kind of... Bigfoot. You got Bigfoot. You got... You got Ooh, Loch Ness Monster. That looks like a wiener. It looks like a brontosaurus dick. A wiener coming out of the water. Hi, I'm a brontosaurus dick. Ready to have sex? I'm Ready a, to protect? I'm a brontosaurus dick. It's the cryptid's calendar. Super creepy, awesome calendar. I like all of it. Creepy Crate is an awesome subscription it, service. Link it, it, down below. Check it out. They give you some good shit, man. Uh, you know, if we ever get a chance to and get some money and stop being on welfare, maybe we can go to Point Pleasant. <laughs> Let's see. We're not on welfare. We, they won't even give us money. So we gotta suck dick for fucking, like, sustenance. I sucked a dick for this. <laughs> look, look, dude. Oh, dude, it's not. The Nain Rouge. The Nain Rouge or Demon of the Straight is a red hobgoblin that haunts the streets of Detroit. Derek, uh, you're fucked! It's Wait, so cute though, look at the The Nain Rouge face. presence has long signaled imminent uh, disaster in the Motor City with sightings reported before 1763's Battle of Bloody Run, the 1967 race riots, and a deadly 1976 ice storm and 1984 ice cream truck disaster. Why don't you just call him the Motor City M Mothman? So now we know why Detroit Lions have sucked a dick for so long. It's that little fucker. <laughs> it's that little fucker right there. <laughs> Poor Lions fans. Poor Lions I'd fans. Like, I mean, t uh, Tim Allen, you know, in Home Improvement, he loved the Lions. So we're interjecting here real quick because I don't know how many times I can fuck things up, but I fuck things up all the time. I fuck things up, you guys. I do. I do it. I do it. Gingivitis is the number one cause of tooth decay. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so uh, we're about to open up a package in the video from our friend Derek. And Derek literally fucking messaged me and told me, he's like, hey, I'm sending a letter separate from the package because Derek fucked up. You fucked up, you fucking Lions fan. You Lions fan loving Mother, Derek's a lion love lover. Derek. That's what Derek is. He's a Derek's lion. a lion. You're a lover. lion lover. You lit liquor. Oh fuck you, <laughs> French but he toast. Sent this letter. So before we actually open it, we've already opened up the package in real time. But uh, we, I forgot about the letter. So we're gonna we're gonna read the letter real quick before we open the package. Already knowing what's in the package. So we'll talk about that as we go. But he says, "Go ahead and read on camera." Sorry, I forgot to put this in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's 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 Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina scented candle. Derek. If it's a severed head, I'm gonna be very disappointed, okay? <laughs> very upset. Very, oh, is that what he's Fucked saying? up. I don't care. Merry Christmas, boys. I hope the holiday season has been good to you so far. It's great. It has. It's been wonderful. Uh, I hope you've spent a bunch of money and went into debt like me. I did. I almost did, but I didn't have any money to spend. <sighs> Man, those kids. So. I'll tell you what. After all, that is the real meaning of Christmas. Uh, anyway, you know, I saw something funny Jim Carrey said the other night, uh, or not the other night, but he said this on a talk show. He was like, I don't support any holiday that makes you go in depth to prove to people that you love them. And yeah, I was like, I understand that, but my kids need their frozen shit, Jim. But I mean, in depth? And Shut to, up. To talk about Shut things? Shut up. To talk about Shut things up. a lot? I, I'm missing a tooth. <laughs> it's like, I always think like Nicolas Cage though in Family Man. He was like, I'm buying this coat. He was just like, no. He's like, yes. <laughs> so, I love that scene. I know, it's so good. I love it. Um, anyways, uh, he says, uh, uh, la, la, la. Uh, anyways, I'm sorry if you already own any of these items. We don't. Uh, the socks are from Liam. Derek's son, oh, Liam, Liam, is yeah. cool as shit. Liam, we love you, man. Uh, he says that the, the, the socks are from Liam, the Hellraiser socks that you guys are about to that's, see. That's some good shit. Liam, we have, we have the Michael Myers socks in that version. We have the Jason socks in that version, but not the Hellraiser. So you, sir, you little man, completed the collection. Liam is great. And, and by the way, Liam, I'm going to let you know that if either one of us develop foot fungus, we have such sights to show you as we pull off. 
off our Hellraiser socks. Because <laughs> it's like opening the box. It's terrible. Uh, John Madden for tough acting to acting is like, I am the way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, Liam says hi, by the way. Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam. Awesome little dude, man. You're going to do great things, and you got an awesome dad, man. It's so cool that you have a dad that does videos with you and unboxings with you, and you guys have some. I, I'm, I love watching that, man. Like, you guys are so cool together. That's I remember so talking awesome. to Derek at Scarefest and what he wants, you know, and how he handles himself and, and the way that he is. He's a, he's a really cool guy and a really good guy at heart and uh you know you show me a guy that takes the, as much time as he does with his son and he tries to introduce him to all this cool things all this pop culture awesome stuff and i'll show you a derek that's a lion's lover <laughs> you, you, you and your relationship with, with your kid man the way you share the things it's you just, love with yeah, him it's, it's or, what we all want or, or, or reminds me of, of how i am my girls man it's so cool to see that in somebody else and yeah I a lot of people a lot of people overlook the kissing ability of derek and it's Honestly, a shame. Grip it and grip it. I'm not going to okay. piece of shit. What is this? A nut crack! Oh, <laughs> fuck, That's dude. fucking awesome, Holy dude. Holy shit, it's a, it's, a, it's a pinhead nut. Look at his mouth. I have such nuts to show you. <laughs> That's a bad... Like, I was, dude, I didn't know you made this, though. When we opened it. You made it. that? I didn't know he made this shit, dude. I didn't know you were creative. He's got the little mustache <laughs> on that motherfucker right there. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crack him good. <laughs> That's fucking cool as fuck. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. That's badass. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Dude, if you, put, if if you put that in your next Christmas decorations with your kids and wife and things, like, you know people, if they ever come over, they're like, fucking Marilyn Manson <laughs> bullshit. Anton LaVey. He opens the door. <laughs> That's fucking great, dude. Oh, man, that is cool. He looks like a uh, like uh, part of the first order from Star Wars. <laughs> got some it's socks. Cool. Oh, and we got more pinhead shit. Dude. Just check out the pinhead oh, socks. Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome because I have the Jason socks like that. And I have the Michael socks like that. Now we have the pinhead. Thor, shut up! It worked. Uh, yeah, it, this is like if you had the socks on, though, and like he's telling you to open the box. It's like when you have stinky feet. <laughs> it's like, happy are they who come to my supper. That's, That's great, man. awesome, man. All right, what's in this little... I think there's a shock. You would glass. definitely wear this these socks though with a girl that knows your interests because if you were on our first date and you just took your socks off, they'd like, what the fuck are those? <laughs> what the f is that your dick? Yes, it is. It's out. Oh, check out this penny. And you would have this you too. would have this mustache. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Who wants a mustache ride? I do. Oh. I do. Oh dude, that's dope because he's breaking his face against the glass. That's badass. This is uh, a uh, uh, pennywise shot glass. Get your face out of it. Get your face oh. out of the thing. The other way. He's breaking his face on the glass of the shot glass. Okay, I gotta turn back on the servo autofocus to make it work. Oh. Pickle -doo. Yeah, now let's try it. I think I just made it worse. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. That, that's cool as fuck. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me Raven McIntyre. Ooh, yeah. Now we got a big. We're all gonna litany. float soon. Look at that bitch, dude. I know. That's a fuckload get... of sugar for my tits. The candy man can cause he mixes it with love and his name is Derek. Sugar for my tits. Detroit Lions. Dude, that is good movie candy right there. You got the Butterfingers, the Skittles, the Snowcaps, the Michael Ikes, the Sweet Tarts, and the Sour Patch Kids Extreme. We're gonna have a great time at the cinema and get diabetes at the same time. And Kit Kat. Fuck yeah. That's awesome, Derek, the, man. I remember these snow, like, uh, Cody always got the snow caps. They're good, but it's like, it was like, like the worst, like, it's the most obscure thing to ask for. It is. You know what I mean? Like, but, if you go on a date or somebody's like, hey, um, see if they have any snow caps. I'd be like, they don't have shit. They have popcorn and soda pop. It's the same shit since the 50s. What you do, dude, you put them in the hot popcorn. I know. You pour them in the hot popcorn and the, the fucking, the, the chocolate melts into the popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's a family thing around here. Me and the, me and the kid do it all the time. We love it. Thanks, Derek and Liam. Thanks, Thank Derek and Liam. Man. You guys, you are, guys awesome. are awesome dudes and we're to hang out sometime. We've already hung out with Derek, but we want to hang out with both of you. I Thanks, cut Derek. My I cut the table. <sighs> Fuck. And uh, yeah. P.S. I miss you guys and uh, all the Wham fam. Can't wait to hang out again next year. Oh, yeah, for real, man. Like, we had a badass time hanging out with Derek and everybody else. Dude, that was, that was some... Derek is such a cool guy. I want to go play pickup basketball with him at a gymnasium. We should do that this year. Scarefest pickup basketball game. No, I was kidding. I, I have to do it. I, dude, I will throw the fucking basketball over the backboard. <laughs> I would love I that. I have not. I didn't know. I would love that so Hey, much. can I get my end one shoes? Uh, I like this. Okay to read on air, and the letter is not in cursive, so Jay will be able to read it easily. Well, fuck you and thank you. 
Uh, December 8th, 2019. The day I lost my virginity. <laughs> Good times at Ridgemont High. Dear Mike and Jay, congrats on putting some goddamn wham up in over 100,000 subscribers, Ooh. me being one of them. Ooh, we Is your asshole feeling okay? How are you? Because we've... Fuck that a hundred thousand times. <laughs> uh, I know that it will be a series of difficult phone calls, but don't you think you should start letting people know the lab results of those tests from your doctor? No! Don't talk about that. We're having a good time. We don't want to talk about Valtrax. Because tracks. we've already booked a show on Dr. Phil. Uh, anyway, after nursing a pretty bad sprained ankle for the past month and some odd days, I finally feel like getting up and doing things again. Therefore, do I figured it. that it was time to do some spring cleaning. Yeah. Even thought it's actually early December. Therefore, I am sending something from my personal collection to you. Yeah. Enclosed, you will find an eight by ten. Is it panties? Enclosed, you will find an eight by ten photo signed by Ashley Lawrence from Hellraiser. That's fucking badass. Oh my god! Let's uh, just go ahead and look at this. Now, don't kill me for this, but I haven't oh. even seen any of the Hellraiser movies. I know. I will remedy that <sighs> soon, though. Dude, it's so pretty. You've look never seen. It. It's so pretty. Oh, dude, man. you've got to watch it, man. And she is fucking. <sighs> Yeah. She's hot. Look at that. Um, not in that picture. That just looks like she really went like hardcore on a, on a guy. I had ketchup on a hot dog and I'm so tired. I hope you both are doing well. Thank you for hours of quality Man. entertainment and so many laughs. Here's to a kick-ass 2020 and I'm looking forward to each and every video from you guys about Halloween kills. Say hello to, oh, My little friend. to Michael and Loomis for me. Your oh. friend, Sean. Uh, and he's got his Twitter, uh, Sean, right now on Twitter. Bing. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, you've got to do yourself the service of seeing Hellraiser. It's one of the nastiest movies, but one of the most coolest movies that you'll ever see. You'll take a shower while you're watching it, yeah. and it makes sense. You're you gonna loop wanna, for the fuck out of your butthole yeah, after watching you're it. You're going to want to buy a, a hardcore loop. But it's a great I, movie. That's a beautiful autograph. Not only is her autograph pretty, but that's a cool-ass picture. Did she make a heart there? Butterbean in the background there. Yeah, she's got a little heart on Butterball. Yeah. Butterball. Fuck you. Not Butterbean. Butterball. Man, that's cool as fuck. What a nice addition to the collection. Thank you, Sean. There's her picture. Yeah, it's the certificate of authenticity. Where's her phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, Hellraiser is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, for sure. And it, it, it really, it, it's an s and kind of fucking weird exploration of horror, but mm -hmm. it works really well with uh, Pinhead and, and Butterball and Chatterer and Female. They did a great job with the first one. It leaves a lot, you know, it makes you feel uncomfortable and it makes you feel scared. Yeah. It makes you feel like you're getting married again. But they did a great job sure. with it and I love it. Yeah. That's so thank you, man. Awesome fucking awesome. That's definitely going to go in the background. Man. That's so uh, cool. Uh, we have so much stuff to put in the background. We're going to keep rotating that motherfucker out like we're goddamn Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's yeah! Be great. Okay. This one comes from Tony Pacino. And again, guys, please check out Creepy Crate in the link below. Thanks, Creepy Crate. For Creepy Crate is awesome, yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Bomber uh, jackets for this. life. Dude, what? Oh, dude, I know what this shit what is. What is that? I know what this shit what is. Is it the cards? They're the fucking cards. It's the fucking movie cards. Ah! It's, it's, it's the fucking Halloween movie cards, man. Wait a minute. Uh, is this from your collection, man? This is not two of these. Things. Oh, he did. He got us both. Holy, Holy shit, shit, dude. Man. Holy fucking shit. All right, dude, all right. I... Uh, I am going to keep this Tony, in the package. Yeah. I'm not opening. Keep one in the package. We're going to keep the second one. No, fuck one. you. I'm going to eat mine. Fine. Keep <laughs> yours in the package, you piece of shit. But I'm actually, I don't want to open this right now. We're going to save this. We're going to do a whole video at one point. Wow, and we're going to open up all the packs of these in an cool unboxing video, fun. Tony. That'll be dedicated to you, man. Do they uh, their movie uh, photo? Yeah, no, I've looked up what? this shit. Dude. They come up and, and like some of them have autographs in them and shit. They have PJ Souls autographs in Dude, them. Dude, this and is badass. Hey, move your face out real quick. This is the whole box, and this is heavy as shit, you guys. Look at this. Let me see. Ow, that was my ribs. I know. That's fucking awesome, dude. dude. Yeah, we're going to do a whole video, and we're going to unbox these bitches that, with you guys. That's going to be well, fucking You're going to unbox yours, so when they devalue... Yeah, I'll unbox mine, you cunt. But you can keep yours in the fucking thing. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Because I might have, like, uh, Nick Castle in here. I might have <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis in here. I might have some good shit in here. And you'll unbox yours and get nothing. Except a Sammy Sosa steroid pill. No, actually, it, honestly, I don't know. That's amazing, man. Thank you. I saw this, and I literally, I, I legitimately saw this on Front Rags, wherever I was like, I fucking want that I, so bad. I really did want this. This is so cool. I, I honestly like. Um, I, I wouldn't put this in my uh, my room. I like, like it looks so fucking cool though. You can create a little background scene, a display s uh, s section with this, and have my man. Thank you so much. This is really amazing, and. Yeah. These aren't really, 
they're they're not cheap. No man, they're and, not. Uh, I, and I appreciate it. And I, I, every time I know, I know. Get like a broken record here, bro. But you guys can keep this stuff for yourself sometimes. Like this stuff is really fucking cool, and it got dark as shit in here. Like God is like saying it we're did. gonna cut you off soon. It did. Yeah, thank you, Tony. I can't. Wait. We're gonna do a whole box unboxing for that for the cards. That'll be so fun, and everybody's gonna get to enjoy that because of you, Tony. Man, thank Thanks, you man. so much. You're an awesome. We're dude. We're all gonna man. enjoy thank it you. together. All right, what do we got in this fucker? A poster. A big one. Seems that way. He handed this at the post office, and I was like, oh my. Hey, here's your dildo. Oh my here's goodness. Here's your dildo. What am I going to do with this cylinder-shaped thing? I, I wish I, if I thought about it, like, hey, my dildo for Tijuana came in. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Almost got. <laughs> Yuck! Okay, can... Yuck! Nasty. Can read on air. Cool beans. Then you should read it on air and stuff. Okay. I can't because there's no hard surface. Because you said read it on air. Hey guys, hope this makes it in time for a Christmas unboxing video. Good. My time management this year has been shit though, so either way, I hope you guys dig it. Well, guess what? You're you're late, but it doesn't matter. I discovered the channel a couple of years ago. Two random dudes swilling on horror movies and sharing a mutual love of slashers. Swilling. I didn't really get. <laughs> we were sucking so much stuff. I didn't really get deep into following until my roomie and I were trying to get ankle deep into Halloween 2018 news. Get deep in that butt. Oh, <laughs> don't wear protection. <laughs> Uh, we started going back, and it was like we discovered better-looking versions of ourselves, right down to the choices of attire and beverages. <laughs> and he goes, this is them! You've captured their stuff bubbles! <laughs> uh, this past January, I took a promotion that moved me about two hours from all the people I know and love, home if you will. Working 68 hours a week started taking its toll on me personally. In the last two months, I've lost my dog. No, oh, man, it sucks. I, I just got one. Um, I wasn't able to be there when they had to put him down. Oh, fuck. And my family life is in crumbles, so I decided to finally call it a day. Six years of retail management, and I'm done. I'm hoping to dive full-blown into my podcast that I started last year, get back to doing design work, all the outlets I've wanted to do but haven't been able to because I put work first. Uh, that's awesome, man. Like, I, Good luck to you good and everything you, you do. Uh, honestly, guys, if it weren't for you guys doing what you do, A, I wouldn't be able, uh, I wouldn't be committing to doing things that make me happy, and B, I'd have been much more miserable the last 12 months. That ding on my phone letting me know you guys put up new content uh, made sure when I got home at least I could tune in and turn off that other side of my brain. Keep doing what you're doing. The fuckstick army is loud and proud. I enclosed this poster I did. <laughs> he says, I enclosed this poster I did. It was a few solid hours of work. Let me be creative and just channel into it. It's at 30 by 40. Just a token of the appreciation I have for you guys. You can do whatever you like with it. Thanks and much love. Loyal Patreon, Joshua Farley. Um, he's at www.facebook.com slash killing the buzz. Twitter at killing buzz underscore buzz man that's so fucking cool dude. i really appreciate it man like that that really uh My did God. touch us in the hearts and farts i i'm sorry your dog died man uh, and I'm, I'm glad you didn't go john wick and kill people because i i just got a dog and uh you know it probably was old age that got yours um or or some kind of medical condition it's always sucky when that happens when you have to go put it down and you weren't there to you know it it's fucking terrible and and, and i'm sorry your your life was bad but i'm really happy that you're 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 moving on and you're you're regearing and you're refocusing your life and, and you're you're moving forward with a different kind of attitude and you're like hey the the podcast thing's where it's at man that's fun as fuck and you get to have a good time and you get to talk for, at length about whatever you want to talk about and have a great fucking experience that's what it is that's how Roger Predactor died he found Captain Winky man I, I don't know like the, I don't know if this the, those two letters back to back or like what it is um, but. God damn it, man. That's Thank you guys so much for just sharing those thoughts with us because just knowing that you guys, that we made a difference in your lives in that way is amazing to me because I felt how you felt before. I felt how, exactly how you felt. Uh, missing kids' shit because of work. Uh, you know, uh, just missing whatever it is because of work. That hopelessness feeling, that, that fucking cage feeling that you feel. And not everybody can do it, and not everybody knows exactly what to do, and that's okay, too. Uh, there's something really honorable about uh, doing what you have to do for your family, even though you have to miss certain things, like with your dogs or whatever. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. But the fact that you had that there, and you were going to make a jump, and you were going to do something, and the fact that we can have some small part of it, man, I'm just, 
I can't tell you how fucking honored and how good that makes me feel deep down inside. It's so cool, man. Like, I'm so proud of that. I'm so happy. And thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm literally trying not to get emotional right here about it because these things mean so much to me. And uh, I'm, just, I'm proud of you, man. I, I'm, proud, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Tony. Uh, I'm proud of Derek, uh, the way he is with his son. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys you guys throw whatever it is that you think it is that we give you. You guys throw it back to us tenfold. And I'm just, I'm just really fucking happy with my life right now. And it's because of you guys. So There's thank no you. way in the world that we could ever imagine that people like you exist. And that makes us so enthralled and happy to keep doing this fucking channel. Because... To get to meet you guys and hear your stories and to know how how many of you great guys are out there that are, are trying girls that are trying to, to to be better and to do more and to, and to just be general good people, it really is a you know in a world especially now where like Twitter is a fucking firestorm of bullshit. I mean, it really is it's just people like listening to themselves talk about bullshit and trying to start fights. Facebook is awful. It's a minefield. Instagram can even be a fucking uh, terrible fucking place too. But these letters, this just just the letters, or knowing you guys personally, some of you, it's beyond the scope of what we ever thought. Yeah. And we're just thank thank God that like people like you exist and you get it, like you get it, like you understand what we're trying to do here. It's like let's all just get together and not butt fuck. But if we want to do that, we can do that too. And sit around a fire and talk about horror movies and uh, and just sh shoot the shit, man. This is huge. I feel so cool opening with a glove. Yeah, it was 80. Opening with a glove makes it feel six times fucking dude, cooler. Dude, already. What the Oh fuck? my fuck, dude. That's so sick, oh. dude, it's steampunk. It's a wh wham watch. Look at the little watch there that comes I, out. And then holy the fuck, dude, that's going up. That's sick as shit, dude. That's like a fucking banner. Look at all the little Look, ghost faces. I know. It's oh my God. That's man. going up. That's going up. Do you turn? Turn your don't don't crinkle it. Give me your end, dude. Holy fuck, guys! Look at this shit. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker in Episode One. It's working! It's working! Slowly move upwards together so they can see it. You got steampunk, Scully. And then regular Scully over here. That's fucking awesome. Dude, dude, that's so fucking... We're framing it. Yeah, fuck yeah. We're we framing are. this bitch. We're going to we're gonna frame it in the best Big Lots frame they've got. <laughs> that's what we do. Because we've got only so much... Crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland does. I feel like Jack Black is like, that is so punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking amazing, fucking dude. Sick, you did man. amazing. And you did this, man. You did this. Holy shit. Hell yeah, dude. That's dope as fuck. Thank you so much, man. Like, I cannot wait to fucking get this in a frame and put this on the background. Uh, you can just walk around like this. I have a declaration. I feel fucking good. I have a declaration. Shut up. I feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook. <laughs> you goddamn right. <laughs> anyway, man, this is... Josh. You did this, man. That's cool You as fucking fuck. made that, bro. You actually were able to create that. Like, oh my god, you guys are... Beyond talent, I cannot believe it. There literally is no words to encapsulate how much you guys mean to us. And every time you guys send us this amazing loot of cool shit that we get to show off that nobody fucking cares about outside of our little circle of friends, you and I and Mike, and nobody cares about it. They're like, what the fuck is that? Is that like, what is that? What is that? A fucking book on the Amityville? What is that? You, you're a devil worshiper? It's like, I love Bale and Manson. The weird shit. Yeah, Tony, Sean, Derek, Creepy Crate. Thank you guys, man, for just making this channel what it is. Man. We love you guys so fucking much, and we're just not worthy, and we're so lucky to be your all's friends. We really appreciate your friendship and everything you guys do for us. And we got yeah. more boxes, so next week we'll be back with another unboxing. We love your fucking faces! And we're going to get sexy together real soon. Yeah! With no lube. None! <laughs> 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 Look guys, Rip Taylor! Hey! We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did review. We watched a movie. Uh-huh. We watched a movie.